Um, I think I'd rather go back to the daydream and dream interaction of the daydream and dream. Um, There's so much I can say about dreams um, that I have to reduce now, but uh, my work with dreams has shown the following thing in, in every case I have studied dreams. And that is that either it's sometimes people only have what I call a snapshot, just perhaps just one scene and nothing else taking place. But dreams are holographic, so it doesn't make any difference. You can still explore them. And you do it exactly in the same way. All right? That is, in every particular episode, there is some scene that, that can be described. There's a state of mind that the person is in. There is some action that is going on. Three things. If it's in a dream, it is most likely has many particular scenes like that. And they tend to be connected together. They tend to be connected together because there's a particular kind of meaning that's going through them. If the meaning, the meaning can only go f as far as the symbols allow it. Therefore, if there's a split, and a dramatic difference in scene, and therefore a different drama unfolding, that's because the dream could only go this far with the symbols chosen to communicate that meaning. Therefore, if there's another and different set of scenes that are following it, the same thing would be true, one, two, three. Now, a person, we're gonna call this, uh, this, this an episode, made up of one, two, three, four, five, right, five particular scenes in this episode. And if it changes dramatically, we're gonna call this the first episode and this the second episode. Now, what the way you can see the intelligibility of a dream is, if, let us assume at the moment we have these two episodes the mind is always going to bring you with a contrast. See, it's making contrasts. And therefore, if a person records their dream, their dreams must be recorded because you want to get as much precision as you possibly can in terms of the dream. And we tend to distort and interpret dreams too wildly if we just allow ourselves to write them down in the morning or just talk about them. Let's assume, therefore, we have a pure case where someone has recorded the particular episodes with the five scenes. Now, in this, there's going to be some drama. Some drama is taking place. Some struggle. Therefore, in this, the person is going to react to that struggle and they're going to be in a particular state of mind. Something is going to be said. Something is going to be said because there's always not just a scene, an action, a state of mind, but there has to be some logos, some words, all right, something intended. Call that the logos. That has to be there. Therefore, the dream is going to pick up this episode as something in our own life that is unfinished. What's unfinished is our pathologos. The daydream represents the extension of our pathologos in a daydream to the degree to which we're allowed to speculate on it. Therefore, a dream gives us the entire episode and therefore it complements the daydreams. It completes it since a daydream is always partial. Right? In using the symbols of our own lives, we use the symbols from our own personal life. Each one of these symbols right, has personal significance and key ones, if you can look for the key ones, will then, will be able to then trace them back to one's personal past and find pathologous transmission scenes. 
in every case. And therefore, what's astonishing, if you can go the next step and hold this all together, there is something awake in our waking worlds that is so wise that it can see the difficulties we're having, knows the pathologos drama behind us, can understand the difficulties we're having, can represent it at night to us in the most vivid form, so vivid we think it's real, can capture the unfinished, the unfinished drama we're living, the pathologos and, its, and our struggles with it, can represent it in such clear language that it can offer us a key to tracing it back to its early learning so that we can get out of it. Again and again. What that means? That means that there's something awake, like just say right now. Let us assume for the moment you might, someone might have a struggle being here. If they have a struggle being here and it deals with some early pathologos learning that they've received, the odds are very good that in tonight the dream master, that's what I call it, the dream master, whatever it is that presents us with our dreams, will be able to bring that to our attention, use particular things from our past, and give it to us in such vivid form we're going to think it's real and it's going to present us with the unfinished episode of our daydreams. It's going to vividly represent us and give us an opportunity to explore it in terms of our past. It's going to give us the keys for our own development. Therefore, as the daydream is incomplete and partial, so the dream is symbolic and complete. And therefore, it's a dialogue between the daydream, the night dream, and a three-way with our everyday world. So daydream, night, and between it is our day. One, two, three. Magnificent as it is. I was just seeing the beauty of this in that sense that that statement where you come to see that everything that everything around you is so perfect, just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Well, it strikes me that everything you have up there is everything we do. I mean, we have inner dialogues, we have dreams, we have daydreams, we have parents, we have images. I mean, it's like everything we do, we can then use to see ourselves. Dreams take things from our past, which means that everything that happened in our past mm -hmm. is important because it's going to be used in. And it means. To see ourselves. And it means, does it not, that right now there is a wisdom, there is a seeing going on, amazing depth, amazing artistic work, right? amazing information about ourselves can reach into our own backgrounds and pick up things we've forgotten that allow this dream to represent in all of its clarity and with its precision our particular dramas and pathologos and give it to us night after night after night after night. And that means like right now, there's part of us that's wise, part of us that's uh, <laughs> foolish, part of us in the struggle, and that's our life. Part of us knows everything we need to know. Everything, everything, everything. Yeah. Well, right, thank you. That's what I wanted to cover this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.